Okay, now let's add another piece to our code. So as we saw now, the aliens are moving after the hero. And what I'm going to do is this if statement said, hey, if the x position was less than the hero's x, move the alien towards the hero according to alien speed. Now, I'm going to, inside of this if statement, I'm going to also test for y, right? So what I'll do is I'll say if, and then open and close parentheses, open curly brace, two lines down, close curly brace. And then what I'll do is I'll say if, right, I'm going to copy this, copy, paste. So if aliens plus k dot y, right, is less than the hero's y, right? Then we'll just take that, copy and paste, then make the y plus equal alien speed, right? So now let's test it out. So we can, like, click here to begin, and you can see now they're moving left and they're moving um, down towards the character. Now, so far, we just tested for the um, aliens that X position was less than the hero's X position. So you can see they're moving from right to left. These guys are not affected. Also, the ones that moved down, notice, were the ones that were up here, not the ones down here that just moved across. But we can put in all those conditions now into our if statement. So in our if statement now, we just need to add the next um, piece. So what I'll do is, is I'm just going to copy this code right here. Actually, I'll need to copy the whole thing. Copy. And I'm going to say else, and then I'll paste. Else if, right, if this is good, you know, great, then move them down. Of course, if this is not good, let's check another one. Let's see if their Y position is greater than the hero's Y position. And if that's the case, instead of plus equal alien speed, we'll do a minus equal alien speed. And now, if we hit Control Enter, click here to begin, you'll see that these guys are plus equaling alien speed, and these guys are minus equaling alien speed, and they're all coming after him, right? And now all we have to do is target the other um, aliens as well. And I'm going to do that right now. So, so right now, the way I'm going to characterize this and do this is I'm going to say this whole block started off with an if statement for the aliens that x position was less than the hero's x, right? So this whole thing goes from basically from here to here, right? Notice this is the first if with the first curly brace, and then this is the matching curly brace down here, and all of these other things happen nested inside of that, right? So this is the block right there, okay? So what I could do is, is I could just copy this, copy, and then I'm going to type an else here, and then paste. So now I've got an else if lined up with this if, and I'll say if the x is greater than the hero's x, right, minus equal the speed, and then if the y is less than, we'll do a plus, and if the y is greater than, we'll do a minus, and that's fine, that can stay the same, and now we'll test it out. Click here to begin and you'll see now all of the aliens are moving towards the character. Now, if we test this out again, I'll hit Control Enter, click here to begin, and I can actually start moving the character and notice that they're following. Right? So now, they're actually following me wherever I go. So that's working pretty good. Okay, I'm going to close this, and you can look at the entire 
move aliens function as it stands right now and that's looking pretty darn good and I'm gonna leave it like that <laughs>